Hello, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. I'm Muhammad Roshan Fikri from Sampurna University. Today, I would like to present our work entitled Edge Infinity Control Design of Two-Wheeled Mobile Robot Under Disturbance. My co-author is Jadewi Jamari and Stephen Levinok. Here, the presentation contents. We will have introduction, problem statements, method, result, and conclusions. For the introduction, in general, there are many applications of two-wheeled mobile robots. One of the application of the two-wheeled mobile robots is a Segway. We know that Segway or two-wheeled mobile robots is work based on the principle of inverted pendulum. To stabilize the position, it is really challenging. Besides that, two-wheeled mobile robot is vulnerable to disturbance. If we give a disturbance, it will go to collapse and failure and unable to hold its position. That is why a robust controller is needed to develop. In order to develop the robust control for our two-wheeled mobile robots, we need to consider about several control strategies which has been proposed uh, by uh, previous researchers. One of uh, the control strategies are PID, LQR, LQG, and H-Infinity. Let's assume that if a disturbance is associated with a um, robot model, it turns the robot tends to a failure. In that case, PID enable to compensate this condition when we associate uh, the disturbance into the model. There are a lot of comparison that is uh, available from previous paper related to control strategy of LQR, LQG, and H-Infinity. Most of them name uh, LQR and H-Infinity for the comparison. However, to find the data performance of LQR and X-Infinity is really challenging to find. Usually, the work that has been done not uh, compare it uh, in detail. In, the, in that case, here in this paper, we try to uh, investigate uh, the performance of LQR and X-Infinity with a three disturbance type as uh, impulse, a step, and a half sign input with a certain magnitude to the system at a certain time span. Before we move further to know which controller design is uh, the best between LQR and X infinity, first of all, we need to uh, define the mathematical model of two wheeled mobile robots which is represented by equations 1 and equations 2. Here, we introduce U as the element of Rn, and X, Rm, and Y is in RQ, holds the control input definitions, the state of the systems, and the output of the system respectively. For the notation of W in RL is the disturbance in the control input and the output. Here, for the, uh, for the A, B, C are the state matrix, input matrix, and output matrix. D1, D2, and E are matrix of appropriate uh, size. After we define the mathematical model of the two-wheel mobile robot, we need to find the appropriate uh, control input in order to minimize the disturbance of W to the desired output y to the static feedback of uh, u, which represent by equations 3. Here, uh, f1 and f2 are introduced as the feedback uh, matrix based on its infinity approach as follow. So here, uh, in order to obtain f1 and f2, we need to follow the theorem 1. Consider the system in 1 and 2 and gamma is 
larger than zero, assume that the system of A, B, C, and D1 has no invariant zero and imaginary axis, and D1 is injective, then by choosing the feedback matrix F1 and F2 as uh, follow. Continuing the term one, F1 and F2 are defined as follow. This is the equation for F1, and this is the equations for F2. In the F1, we have the notation of P, which is the positive semi-definite solution of the algebraic Riketty equations. In order to solve the algebraic Riketty equations, we need to uh, introduce these equations. As we know, the closed loop transfer function of GF has edge independency norm less than gamma, as noted in this uh, in the right side. And then, as the remarks, to make the theorem solid, uh, it should be noted that the matrices of A, B, C, and E are the matrices from the state space formulation according to the system assumptions and derivation. The matrices D1 and D2 are the appropriate size. However, the values in these matrices are set according to the desired output. By simultaneously, we need to set the value of the gamma as well. Now, as we already introduced the edge infinity theorem and remarks. We move to the, our main uh, equation of motions for our two-wheel mobile robots model, which represent by this figure, where for the equation of motion, we have to uh, consider the x-coordinate, which represent by these equations. And also, along with x-coordinate, we need to find uh, they define the equation of motion for the theta coordinate, which represent by these equations. Here we state like uh, in x coordinate, in the rectangle blue rectangle, it is a1, a2, a3, and a5, and then for a4 is 1 over r, a6, a7 and A8. This categorization is to simplify the equation that we have. From the categorization that we have from A1 until A8, then we can simplify the equations of, e, of the motion for the x coordinate where the x double dot is noted by these equations. And then we can express these equations and put it into this, uh, the theta double dot, where the simplifications becomes like this. Meanwhile, for the EOM of uh, theta, is defined by these equations. Now, let x is equal to x1, x dot is equal to x2, theta is equal to theta1, theta dot is equal to theta 2, then the state space equations of the robot model is described by these equations. From the model that we have defined previously, now we try to investigate the LQR and edge infinity performance based on the three disturbance that we already introduced in previous slide. Here, uh, for the LQR and edge infinity performance for the linear position with the impulse input uh, disturbance, we get that uh, the edge infinity has a uh, better performance than LQR, which is uh, from our investigation, we get that edge infinity has at around 36.46% less maximum distance rather than the LQR. Now we analyze the performance of the LQR and edge infinity based on the same disturbance with the angular position response. We obtain that the edge infinity has a 
13.93 less maximum tilt angle and 70% faster than the LQR. Now, for the step input LQR and X infinity subject to linear position response, here we get that X infinity has 64.58% less maximum rather than LQR. This notes that the edge infinity is still superior rather than LQR. For the angular position response, we have that edge infinity managed to keep a maximum angular position at 0.6 radian and angular position at 3 seconds. And here, we get that the edge infinity has uh, around 63.64% uh, less maximum rather than uh, LQR and 50% faster till angle settling time rather than LQR. For the last disturbance scenario, half sign input, for LQR and edge infinity, we get that edge infinity still outperform the LQR performance. For the angular position response of LQR and edge infinity, we can still uh, obtain the, that edge infinity still outperform the LQR where the edge infinity has around 10% less maximum tilt angle and 58% faster tilt angle rather than LQR. For the conclusion, the LQR can stabilize the two-wheel mobile robots under disturbance and also edge infinity can stabilize a two-wheel mobile robots under disturbance. Edge infinity for the linear position response has a lowest difference and then edge infinity for angular position response under uh, disturbance has the lowest difference. And here, the edge infinity control showed a more superior performance to stabilize the robot model and become a suitable uh, control for these uh, systems. That's all for our presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.